All right, everybody. We picked up this new Axial SCX24. This is a 1940s Dodge Power Wagon. It is an officially licensed Dodge product, LED lights included. It has a two year warranty, ready to run. It's got Proline wheels and tires included. Uh, this thing's supposed to have oil filled shocks. It comes with um, an accessory kit and two little figurines in there, if you see. Got a guy in there with a backwards hat and a guy, the dude with the cowboy hat that's standard. Uh, this thing is supposed to be a decent upgrade to the normal SCX 24s that you get. Um, it has all the little uh, Jeep accessories that come with the Jeep, the little pop-up tent, uh, but you do get the super swampers. You get the oil-filled shocks. It's got a new controller, new battery. Um, you get some mud guards and fender flares and all that good stuff. But we'll get it out of the box and take a look and see how it um, sits and what parts you get with it. All right, there it is unboxed. I mean, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. As you can see, we got the Forest Service green one. Those are those... Um, beadlock wheels they're plastic with the super swampers everything licensed uh it looks like it sits on a long body there 70 what we got there let's see 70 millimeter and 78 it looks like up front is 50 and just a regular y brace i guess it looks like power wagon on the front, standard servo and everything. Got the lights. This one comes with two figurines, uh, one with a forward hat, one with a backwards hat. Nobody in the back seat. There's the rear. No lights in the rear, but you could add them if you want. This is removable, um, this license plate, and that's a hitch receiver. So it has a built-in hitch receiver. It's pretty good. And another cool feature about this thing, has a drop bed. So this is definitely um, an upgraded Axial SCX24 for sure. It has oil shocks. It's not wobbly. And everybody knows any uh, SCX24 you get is just going to be super wobbly on the shocks. These ones are actually really tight. And we'll get it open, take a look at it, and see how it looks. So inside is just normal Axial stuff. You do have a new Spectrum. ESC and receiver combo there, on off switch, stock motor, stock transmission that you always see in the 24s. Um, we have a bunch of slots there for connections, so you can add lights and uh, rear steer probably on this thing. It looks like it has enough to accept it. Light harness goes through to the front. Again, only front lights. You could add rear ones if you want. Other than that, it's uh, pretty good. They did add just some upgrades that uh, you would have to buy normally, but they are included. Like these little, um, I guess, mud flaps or whatever you want to call them. All right, we'll take a look at the accessories and see how it looks. Comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, most of the stuff comes on the Jeep, I believe, the Gladiator and stuff like that. The little pop-up tent. Uh, you get some fuel cans. You get a uh, farm jack, a couple shovels, and that's the cage that goes around the back of the truck here. We do get a new battery here, a Spectrum battery. It's uh, 2.59 watt hours, 30C or 350 milliamp hours, a 2S LiPo. Uh, they did give you a new upgraded 
USB-C charger. So that's good. Um, at least now it's more modern and more reliable. Um, and it probably charges at a faster rate. This is a new controller here. It's a Spectrum controller. Got steering trim it looks like. And steering rate maybe? No throttle. And then, oh, right there we got 50, 75, 100, and reverse steering. Power button. Nice wheel. Uh, and again, everything with these uh, SCX24s, uh, this is RTR, ready to run out the box. You get the four batteries, uh, you get the charger and the battery for the truck and all the little accessories. Um, it also includes some shock spacers because this truck is designed to tow a trailer or it was made for the trailer back here that license plate removes and you can add a little trailer back there that hitch all right there it is fully assembled it's an absolutely beautiful 24 scale model has all the accessories the outlanding accessories has LED front lights. I mean, it just, it's an overall good looking truck. Tailgate, we put some stickers back there. Two figures in there. I mean, just overall, it's an excellent little truck. It's got the oil filled shocks. As you can see, they kind of settle down when you let it sit. We're gonna get this thing on a little bit of a test run here and show you how it does. All right, we're gonna go up to teeter tot first and show you how it does. We gotta get a little speed when we get up there. And get up on the ramp. And we'll get you as close as possible as we can here. Modulation is super smooth. No problems going over that. Trying to do this one-handed. Let's look at the articulation here. Some pretty good articulation in there. Oil filled shocks are doing good. Looks really well as far as articulation goes. As you can see there, definitely got some clearance and we'll keep it moving here. Take a look at this shot again with the clearance. It's pretty decent. It's got good travel. And this is stock right out of the box. So as you can see there, it does well. No problems going right over that. All right, so you've seen the capabilities of the power wagon straight out the box. Uh, overall, what we think, this is a great upgrade to the SCX24 lineup. They really listen to everybody uh, with some of the upgrades. We've got the oil-filled shocks here. As you can see, the body has none of that bouncy plastic noise. You've got two driver, well, you got a driver and a co-driver in there, which is pretty cool. These mirrors fold in in case you crash so they don't break off. Uh, beadlock wheels, everything's licensed. And overall, it's just a great looking uh, little 24 scale model. So yeah, I uh, hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching.